Good morning, all you beautiful adventurers. We're out here today on a beautiful little property we camped on last night, but that's not what all this video is about. But to get to exactly what this video is about, we actually have to jump back a few weeks to see something that happened. So let's go back in time and I'll catch up with you in a second. I'm heading out here tonight to Rendezvous Outfitters. They have a lot of classes they hold. And this is actually the first one I'm getting to attend and it is a cooking class. So I'm pretty excited about that. Just a chance to kind of learn some different stuff. I know I, I know how I do things and you know, you kind of fall into some ruts on um, you know, just kind of sticking what you know. So I'm really excited to hear some different techniques and some different ways to do stuff. So let's check it out. So that was a pretty awesome class that I went to. You know, I've spent most of my time on my backpacking stuff with, with freeze-dried meals, but I've also been for years, you know, doing a lot of cooking, the cast iron, Dutch oven stuff on fire pits, bringing ingredients and doing some of that cooking on the trail, all, it definitely seemed like something that I would never do or too daunting or too much. And I'll tell you what, after that class and hearing his passion and and then, you know, he made some beef jerky stroganoff for us and some other thing and some fried rice and then some other stuff. And it was incredible. It was actually really tasty. But then this morning is actually the first chance I'm going to take to, to make something from one of his cookbooks. Because I like to support small businesses and support awesome people, I did buy every one of his cookbooks he had available there. We're actually going to be cooking a meal out of this one. The cranberry orange granola. You know, the big thing to hear that he talks about, which is cool, 10 ingredients or less, 30 minutes or less. What's cool here is how incredibly simple this is. Get some tea going while we start prepping the rest of this stuff. Orange spice tea. It is a little bit chilly today. We're not quite to summer. I am not very good at measuring. Six ounces. Yeah, I'm just making crap up here, guys. Now we got some craisins, some cinnamon. While we're letting that start to cook, again, you really should check out Chef Corso's website and his TV show and everything that he's got going on. The show is fantastic. It's so much fun. Um, just like any cooking show, you watch it, and especially if you're an outdoors person, you'll watch it and you're just gonna be like, number one, I wanna get back outside, and two, I wanna try that food out there. Great person, so nice, um, easy to talk to, ton of fun to meet him that day. But it feels so good on the cold hands. That tea is slightly Christmassy. Hydrating up here. I'm gonna give that a shot, see what that's like. Here's a little granola. Crazy. Guys, this is amazing. And what, we got four ingredients on this one? Mandarin oranges, craisins, granola, cinnamon, water, five ingredients. That is a delicious little breakfast. Check out uh, Outdoor Eats in Chef Corzo. Really doing some, really doing some cool stuff there. Um, can't wait to try a few more things. Absolutely up next for me is gonna be Pad Thai. Until next time, I'm gonna finish my meal, pack up and get out of here. Maybe go see if I can find some, some creatures to take some photos of before I leave. See you guys.